When you're building applications, you want them to deliver a great experience for your users. Maybe you want your application to generate in-app purchase options during a gaming session, rapidly validate street address updates, or make image thumbnails available instantly after a user uploads photos. To make this magic happen, your application needs back-end code that runs in response to events like image uploads, in-app activity, website clicks, or sensor outputs. But managing the infrastructure to host and execute back-end code requires you to size, provision, and scale a bunch of servers, manage operating system updates, apply security patches, and then monitor all this infrastructure for performance and availability. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just focus on building great applications without having to spend lots of time managing servers? Introducing AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is a compute service that runs your backend code in response to events such as object uploads to Amazon S3 buckets, updates to Amazon DynamoDB tables, data in Amazon Kinesis streams, or in-app activity. Once you upload your code to Lambda, the service handles all the capacity, scaling, patching, and administration of the infrastructure to run your code and provides visibility into performance by publishing real-time metrics and logs to Amazon CloudWatch. All you need to do is write the code. AWS Lambda is very low cost and does not require any upfront investment. When you use AWS Lambda, you're simply charged a low fee per request and for the time your code runs, measured in increments of 100 milliseconds. Getting started with AWS Lambda is easy. There are no new languages, tools, or frameworks to learn. You can use any third-party library, even native ones. The code you run on AWS Lambda is called a Lambda function. You just upload your code as a zip file, or design it in the integrated development environment in the AWS Management Console. Or you can select from a list of function samples pre-built for common use cases such as image conversion, file compression, and change notifications. And built-in support for the AWS SDK makes it easy to call other AWS services. Once your function is loaded, you select the event source to monitor, such as an Amazon S3 bucket or Amazon DynamoDB table, and within a few seconds, Lambda will be ready to trigger your function automatically when an event occurs. With Lambda, any event can trigger your function, making it easy to build applications that respond quickly to new information. To learn more about AWS Lambda, visit our website and you can get your first Lambda function up and running with a few clicks in the AWS Management Console. And with the AWS free tier, you can try Lambda for free.